Okay, for today's video, we have a massive lot of older Safari LTD Carnegie collection. Uh, this lot was great for me because it helps me get a lot of the older figures, and it's a bunch of the harder to get older figures. Um, and this was a day that I was actually really trying to get two eBay auctions, so I've been really trying to get that Carnegie collection mirror guy for the last little bit. Um, it's really become like my top priority figure as far as the, recently, um, but. There was one there was one listed on eBay that was on auction for like 10 days and then the seller that I bought a bunch of stuff from listed one that had like three days but it was like in between the 10 days so um, I decided I was just gonna try to get the one from the seller that I get usually but his it was ending second and the first guys was up to like 55 or I bid up to 55 on it just to try to see and they must have had a max bid in and then the one that the from the seller that I bought a lot of stuff from theirs was at like it was at 49.99 and literally didn't have a bid and then I ended up putting in a max bid of like 70 and then literally with like one second to go somebody outbid me I just don't get why they did it honestly I mean I get why they did it but I don't know why they just didn't put their max bid in earlier but it is what it is. I didn't get the figure, unfortunately. But on that same day, well, later that day, this lot was going on, and I ended up winning it. So I'll just give you all a little bit about the lot right now. So like I said, it's a lot of mainly older Carnegie figures, and I paid under 50 actually, for the full lot. I was willing to pay way more, like, just because it's a lot of figures I don't have that I really needed, and it's a lot of really good figures in really good condition for how old they are, so... We'll just get right into it. So they packaged it really well. I think almost all of them came in plastic bags and they sent um, packing peanuts. So um, We'll get the box out of the way so it's not blocking the whole thing. But yeah, we'll just draw out randomly and we'll see. Okay, this is a good one to start. This is the old, well, one of the Safari LTD Carnegie Collection Tyrannosaurus Rex variants. So I have the other variant, so I'm glad to finally have this one. Um, I'll show you what I mean. I actually really like this one. So I've got three of this version already. The one with the head like more straight out. And this is the one with the head curved down more. I actually really like this one. And I think almost all the figures in this lot come with their tags. So that was an awesome little addition. Um, but yeah, I really like this figure. Um, and it's awesome to have the other version. I, this wasn't like a must get for my completion of the Carnegie Collection. But I'm still happy to get it, especially over getting, you know, just this one version again for the fourth time. Um, next up, let's see what we draw out. Oh, this is a cool one. The Carnegie Collection Myosaurus. Honestly, I thought this figure was a little smaller, but it's actually a really good size in person. So this is, um, the Carnegie Collection has a few different mirror guy. Or, I mean, not mirror guy. <laughs> My Sora. Um, yeah, the Carnegie Collection has a few different My Sora. It's got a more updated one. So this is the older one, obviously. Um, that is on a nest. The newer one um, doesn't come with, or comes with a nest, but it's not on top of the nest. Um, and this is actually the second My Sora I have in the collection. Um, the only other one I have is the Dinosaur King one. So obviously, nice to get a, better size my sword, but I really do love that Dinosaur King figure, but it's awesome to get a upgraded size one. This figure used to be $6, that's crazy. I mean, this one's really not that expensive since, you know, there's the more updated one that more people like, and this one's, even though it does have the tagging stuff, you can definitely see it does have some paint chips, but still, with a figure this old, getting one in this good of condition is great. And wow, that figure is awesome. I did not realize how like bulky that figure was. I went if I didn't, there's only really two figures I have in this lot that are complete repeats. I'm not counting that Rex just because it's in a very different pose. Um, well, not a very different pose, but you can tell it's a different model. This is one of the ones that I did have, though. The Carnegie Collection Parasaur Lophus. Um, this makes my third version of this figure. This one actually is a different paint color, so this must be an older one or a newer one. But yeah, I definitely like this Parasaur Lophus. Just, I already had a few. But yeah, this one actually is a little different than the ones I have. It's got a different head build. So I'm glad that it's not a exact repeat like the Rex situation. Um, well, yeah, so every figure so far has had the tag, which is awesome. Oh, this is a good one too. 
Next up, we have the Safari LTD Carnegie Collection Smilodon. Uh, this is one that I wanted to get. Uh, you know, the Carnegie Collection doesn't have many mammals that I'm aware of. It's got this one and then the bigger mammoth that I already have. But the bigger mammoth's more recent, and this is like an older Smilodon figure. Uh, so I'll show it off really quick. Uh, here he is. Awesome, awesome figure. Older, older figure, too. Uh, this one's actually in pretty good shape for some of the ones I've seen on eBay. So here's the little tag that it came with. Uh, and here it is compared to the more recent, or not, this is in the regular like Wild Safari line. Here it is next to that Smilodon. Two great figures. And this one is really great for how old it is. I mean, it definitely doesn't have the most like animalistic look like it compared to some of their more recent like mammalian figures, but it still looks great. Um, yeah, we'll just keep going. Oh, this is one that I'm super happy about too. Uh, this is one that I've been wanting to get for a long time. And one of the biggest reasons I actually bought this lot too, the Carnegie Collection Deinonychus. Um, yes, so, I might realize they have as much movability as they do, but yeah, it's a pack of three Deinonychus. Love this figure, I've been wanting to get this figure for a while. Um, and it's actually one of the biggest reasons why I was willing to spend so much on this lot. Recently, before I bought this lot, there was a listing that one of my favorite sellers have of this and one other figure that I'll show off later in this video. But they listed these two. And I was going to ask for them to do like a throw-in whenever I won something big like that mirror guy. But they ended up just selling before I ever ended up getting something. And then I realized I should have probably just bought them because there are two figures that I really wanted on their own. And didn't just need them as just throw-ins. But then, so whenever I saw this listing, I was like, okay, I definitely want to get this now because... Um, now that I've got a chance to get both of them again and can probably get them for a good price. Okay, next up. Oh. Okay, next up we have another one of the repeat figures. Uh, this is the Carnegie Collection Pachycephalosaurus. Another really good figure, but like I said, is a repeat for me. Um, I have a few of this figure, actually. This one's in better condition than... So I have a, the other color scheme, like... I like three or four of the other color scheme. Three of them, I think. And then this makes the second one I've gotten this more color scheme. But this one's definitely in better condition than the one that I had prior. Oh, and one thing I did want to mention specifically about this lot. This lot is actually not the first time I've purchased from the seller. I can't remember if I mentioned this already. But I actually purchased this, the big, huge Carnegie Diplodocus, which I have reviewed on the channel, from this seller. So this seller... Must have just had a bunch of Carnegie figures at some point because they had the more recent Diplodocus plus a ton of these older figures. Oh, this is a cool one. This is one of the ones that I really wasn't like looking for, but after buying the lot, I realized that they were two really good gets. Uh, this is the Carnegie Collection Australopithecus. Uh, I do like Australopithecus though. I mean, from Walking with Beast and stuff, like I'm very aware of what they are. But it wasn't, like, my top priority in the Carnegie collection. But, you know, to get them in a lot. I mean, because these figures are not cheap, actually, for the pair. Um, I'll see if I can dig out the other one really quick. Because I... Oh, here it is. So, yeah, I got... Both of the pair came in this lot. So, that was awesome. So, yeah, both of the Australopithecus. So, now I've got these two out of the way in the Carnegie collection set. But, like I said, these two are actually pretty hard to get. Especially in good condition, like these two are. But they weren't, like, the top of my priority list of figures. But, like I said, I'm very happy to get them because now I don't have to worry about them trying to get any in the Carnegie collection. Um, next up, we actually have a repeat of this lot of something that I didn't actually have prior. And it's one that, like, I wouldn't care to get another repeat of, honestly. It's the another set of the Carnegie collection Dionychus. So, you know, it's a pack of three anyways, so now I've just got, like, one big pack of six. And this one's actually slightly different colors. These ones are more yellow, while these ones are a little bit more tan. But like I said, definitely not an issue because, well, you know, they're a pack animal, at least in the figure. Oh, next up we have the Carnegie Collection Pteranodon. Definitely not the best Pteranodon figure, but um, still, you know, it's a Carnegie Collection figure that I didn't have, so I'm happy to finally have it. Um, this, is, this one's actually a pretty easy one to get. Um, once again, came with the tag. Um... Wow, this seller did amazing. All these figures came in great shape with the tags and everything. But yeah, definitely not like the top priority of this lot. However, like I said, to get it for free, very happy with it. 
oh, this is another good one, the Carnegie Collection Dilophosaurus. So, one thing that I really wish this lot had, so, this Dilophosaurus comes in a pair, or you can buy it as a pair. There's another Dilophosaurus, one that's like standing up, that goes with it. But this lot didn't come with that one. It only came with this one. So now I have one of the two. So I probably need to get that other one at some... I mean, I will get that other one at some point to complete the set. But yeah, definitely love the Carnegie Dilophosaurus. I think it looks great. Um, is that all... No, I think there's at least one more. Or there should be one more. Um, well, let me dig through... Oh, yeah, there is one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, yeah, so for a second I thought that they didn't ship this one because I dug around for a little bit. But, yeah, this is one that I was super, super happy about. When I was mentioning earlier that that seller had a lot of the Deinonychus and another figure, this was that other figure. This is a smaller, smaller figure in the Carnegie set, but it's such a, such an awesome little small figure. Um, but, yeah, here it is, the Carnegie Collection Protoceratops. So it's like an adult one and a little baby one on a nest. Um, yeah, such an awesome little figure. I really love this little set. But you know, it's almost like its own little diorama. Um, I do have these Sparty LTD 2 Protoceratops, which you can almost go with these two and make like one big nest. But wow, such an awesome little set. I think this was an amazing, amazing lot. I mean, it's got a ton of diversity. We've got some of the prehistoric mammals I needed. A ton of good dinosaurs and some just prehistoric reptiles like the Pteranodon. Great, great overall lot that I'm very, very happy with. And, yeah, like I said, just very, very happy with. The only figures I even had in this lot were the Packy, and this one's a better condition one for this paint color. The Para, and this one turns out actually a slightly different pose than the one I had. The Rex is the different head sculpt. And then the Myosaur I didn't have. I didn't have either of the Deinonychus, and these ones are in different paint colorations, actually. Then I didn't have the Pteranodon. Didn't have the Proceratops, didn't have the Dilo. Do need to get that other Dilo, though. And, yeah, the two um, Australopithecus and the Smilodon didn't have any of those. So, awesome, awesome lot for me. Definitely happy with it. And, like I said, I would have been willing to pay way more for this than what I did. Because it's such a good lot and it helps my collection out a ton as far as getting... Because a lot of these, like the Deinonychus and Protoceratops, are some of the older Carnegie figures. And most of the older Carnegie figures are easier to get, like that Pteranodon and the Para. But... Um, some of the older ones actually are kind of harder to get, like the Deinonychus. Well, it's not super hard to get, but it's one of the harder ones of the older ones to get. So, super happy with this. And, yeah, I guess we'll go over the featured figures. But, yeah, I think this was such a great lot. I'm so happy I got it. So, um, every figure on the table right now is a Carnegie Collection figure. The Deinonychus pair, um, the Myosaurus, the Pachycephalosaurus, the Pteranodon, the Parasaurolophus, the Dilophosaurus, the Protoceratops, the Smilodon, the Australopithecus pair, and the Tyrannosaurus Rex. So, uh, some other Carnegie Collection figures we showed off. The Tyrannosaurus Rex. The Myosaur. Or, this is not... <laughs> this is the Dinosaur King Myosaur. Uh, another Carnegie Collection, Parasaurolophus. Um, another Carnegie Collection, um, Pachycephalosaurus. The Carnegie Collection Diplodocus, which I did get from this same seller and have reviewed, so I'll put a link to that review. Um, the Safari LTD Smilodon, and the Safari LTD Feathered Dinosaurs 2 Protoceratops. Um, thank you all so much for watching, and I'm out. Uh, yeah, I think there's going to be a few more videos before that 300 subscriber special, because we're so close to 300 subscribers, but... Uh, maybe by the time this video comes up, because there's going to be a few videos, so we'll probably be at 300 by the time this video comes out, but if we're not, um, it, it's fine, but if we are, thank you all so much for that, but at the time of recording, I don't believe we're at 300 yet.